What's going on guys, this is Chase Finn number 9 here and before I get into today's video um, just want to give a little update on the situation regarding Newman so um, he is staying at Halifax Medical Center and looks like they're keeping observation on him it looks like from tweets that I've been seeing um, I don't have a Twitter account just to let you guys know um, I just look up I I look up um, NASCAR and other people and their Twitter feed for those who are in the NASCAR community and I just read to see if there's like any updates just to let you guys all know so yeah but anyways that's pretty much it so for um, today's video uh, I'm gonna be giving you guys my picks for um, the Sunday's race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the cup race. I think it's still called the Penzo 400. Oh yeah, I remember, yeah it is. And if they change the name, um, my bad, I'm not perfect, no one, but yeah. So you guys know how this goes. I give my five picks and you guys are more than welcome to leave as many picks as you like down below in the comment section. No need for a TBN number, just feel free to leave your picks. So yeah. So, um, it's the West Coast Sweep this Sunday, or the triple header races this week kick off the West Coast Sweep, and I think I love how we're going from Daytona to the West Coast already. I like the schedule, so, yeah. But anyways, um, really looking forward to it. The West Coast Sweep is, I always find it to be very entertaining at times, so yeah but anyways um without further ado um i'm gonna give you my five picks for um this sunday's race and also i'm gonna do a pick video for the xfinity series when once the entry list comes out and i'll try and do that as well but anyways um here are my picks for this sunday so uh my first pick um i'm gonna have to go with martin trex jr and the reason why is because he's been good at Vegas in the last couple of years. Um, he's won um, there twice, and he, including um, last year in the playoffs. And I have a good feeling he's going to be strong again this time around. <sighs> I'm tired, but yeah, I have a good feeling that... Um, Truex is going to be strong this week, so yeah, keep an eye out for him. Mm. My second pick, um, I'm going to have to go with um, Ryan Blaney because I feel like Blaney, you know, after finishing second um, yesterday, um, I have a good feeling that he's going to be strong at Vegas, and he's been good there in the past, and um, if he could just stay out of trouble and run well then I have a good feeling that he might pull something off who knows and my third pick I'm gonna have to go with uh, Kyle Larson in the 42 because I feel like that he's, he's been good on the mile and a half tracks but he hasn't been able to close it out and he's he's won at Vegas in Xfinity before two years ago and I'm not just saying that because he's won there but also, his performance in Cup 2, he's got like two runner-ups, I think. And if he can play, if the race just goes his way, everything will be all good. So, yeah. My fourth pick, I'm going to have to go with uh, Denny Hamlin. The reason why I go with Denny Hamlin, well, I know he won the 500 yesterday. But um, for some reason, I feel like Vegas is a track that he can win at considering that he's never won there and I won't be surprised that if he did win there, it'd, it'd be cool. I know some people don't like Hamlin, but <sighs> but I feel like, I just feel like Vegas is a track that he can get things done at and that's why I picked him for the Sunday and my 
fifth and final pick, I'm going to have to go with Kurt Busch, Larson's teammate. The reason why I picked Kurt Busch is because um, he's been um, he's been doing he's done okay at Vegas, but he just hasn't been able to get the win. He ran strong in the race last year, um, not the fall race, but um, the race before. And if and it's been a while since we've seen Kurt Busch win early on in the season. So if Kurt Busch can um, put together a good race, he might pull something off, and especially when it comes to late race restarts because the last time we saw him win, he pulled off a crazy finish at the end. And, man, that Kentucky race, that was still a good race nonetheless. So, yeah. And... Yeah, those are my five picks for the Sunday's race. So, guys, that will do it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan number nine here. Also, as you can see, I'm wearing my Ryan Newman hat from this is from last year when he drove the Oscar Mayer car. And the Oscar Mayer cars are st still some cool looking cars, and I hear the six cars going to run them this year. I think so. Yeah, but anyways. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. And make sure to hit that like button. Oh, and some other things. Um, I really appreciate the uptick in subscribers. Um, it means a lot, man. I went from like 144 subscribers last night to like 167. So I really appreciate the uptick in subs subscriptions to my channel. So, yeah. And also that reaction video from last night, that is the highest viewed video I've posted to my channel since its creation last April. So I really appreciate it. Oh, and also I appreciate your thoughts and prayers and condolences to Ryan Newton and his family too on that reaction video. So yeah. But anyways, that will do it for this video, guys. Keep Newman in your th thoughts and prayers. And with that, I'll see you guys on my next video. And until then, have a good one. Bye, everyone.